So this is $1 million worth of Calcutta gold marble in the bathroom of a $25.5 million penthouse in Miami. My name is Eric Conover and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one of a kind luxury listing. Now some stats on this one of a kind penthouse. It has six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, just about 10,000 square feet of interior living space with an additional 6,000 square feet of wraparound terrace. This is one of the most unique homes we've ever toured on my channel. So make sure to stick around for this entire episode. Before we jump in, I want to give a huge thanks to my boy, Jeff Miller, for letting us film his incredible listing. Make sure to stick around to the very end of the tour. We sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one chat talking about all things Miami luxury real estate. And with that, let's get into the tour. So welcome to the penthouse at the Regalia. This is a private keyed entry that leads right in to this beautiful gallery hallway. Now this is a full service white glove building, meaning there's tons of amenities, there's a pool, a spa, a media center, and there's actually two trophy properties in this building. We have the penthouse, which we're about to tour, and then we have the beach house down below. Let's go check that out really quick. So this is the beach house. This is a two story, essentially trophy property, like I mentioned with the penthouse and then this beach house, just under 9,000 square feet, has a beautiful stainless steel kitchen. This is for the buyer who wants to wake up at sunrise, be steps from the ocean, go for a jog on the beach. And the best part about this, check this out, it is your very own private outdoor pool with this incredible viewing section right here. Just take a look at the turquoise with the blue of the Atlantic in the background. Now I really wanted to show you this on a beautiful sunny day so you could see those turquoises of the pool light up, the deep blues of the Atlantic. But I want to show you the best of the best here at the Regalia. So with that, we're gonna head back up and show you the penthouse of the Regalia. Back up at the penthouse, the moment everyone's been waiting for, right off of the gallery hallway, this is your wow moment. This is the double-heighted 20-foot ceiling great room. This is your entertainment room. This is when you walk in, you can't help but see just the blues of the Atlantic Ocean. Let's actually head out here for a second. I mentioned at the start of this video that you have 6,000 square feet of wraparound terrace. And normally I don't do this in tours right off the bat, but we had to just step out here and get a look. That's your views to the north. You have Fort Lauderdale up there. And then if we spin around, do a little dance, we have your views to the south. We'll get into the lay of the land where everything is, but just check this out. This is Miami living and this is just the start. Let's head back into the great room. There's a lot to break down, a lot of very unique materials in here. As you can see, this beautiful light fixture above, this is the focal point of the room. Now we're gonna start doing this in a counterclockwise fashion. So off to the left here, first I wanna point out on the walls here, we have Venetian plaster and we have the floating baseboard down below. But from the great room, we flow into your formal dining room moment. This is your corner dining room table. You have seating for 12 and of course the views. Floor to ceiling glass, views to the north. And one thing I want to point out is there's no other skyscrapers anywhere near the regalia. And this is because all that land down below, there is a height limit on building. It's two floors, so forever you will have those views to the north. Back in from the views, we have our dining room table, beautiful light fixture above. And now we're gonna head off behind the dining room and enter the kitchen. And I also love how you do have the door so you can close off the kitchen from the rest of the home. Now there's a ton of awesome materials in here. On the cabinetry, we have all custom polyform handleless cabinets. So these are all pushed to open, very minimal, very just sleek. On the countertops, we have quartz. All of the appliance suites are wolf. And as you can see, they are built right in to this quartz. So that is very, very fine craftsmanship. And then off to the right here, we have your quartz island breakfast bar for four people. You have your secondary chef's prep sink. Then making our way further back, we have the induction stove top, the grill, and then you have a fryer right here with this awesome stainless steel hood right above. Continuing back, this is your oversized refrigerator freezer combo. I didn't point this out when we mentioned the home, but everything is controlled by this Crestron system. This is your lighting, your music, all right here. The smart technology in this home, like you would expect for this price point, it's all there. 
So off of the kitchen, again, you have another door which closes off the kitchen from the rest of the home. Off to our right here, this is the lower level laundry room. Have of our camera gear in here for the time being, but you can see how convenient that is right off of the kitchen. And we also have the stainless steel around the doors. The walls now have this woven grass fabric texture, and I love how it's just all broken up. Right off this laundry room, we enter the corner home office. Now this could technically be another bedroom, but we have it staged as the home office. You have your access to your patio space, northern views and western views. So here in the bathroom, we have this beautiful floating vanity. These are Dornbrock fixtures. These are very, very expensive. I throw that word around a lot, top of the line. These are actually top of the line. We have the floating mirror, again, the floating vanity, and just all those warm tones that really make this feel like a Miami beach house. So we're gonna head out of this bathroom and head out of the guest bedroom. But first, I just wanna show, like, look at this. Look how blue that is. But every time I walk through here, I've been here about two times now, it always stops me, just the colors of the water here in Miami. Leaving the home office, we have this connecting corridor. I wanna point this out, this beautiful metal trim work, again, that's found on most of the doors, leading in to your informal media room. And again, just like the kitchen, you have this beautiful custom millwork. This is all polyform. Again, it's all handleless. Everything is tucked back so neatly. All of the door handles are wrapped in custom Italian leather that has been hand stitched. So from this section of the media room, we now enter to, again, just another offshoot of the media room, flat screen TV built right into that custom millwork, all the recessed lighting, HVAC all built in as well. And this behind me, this is a pneumatic elevator. I've never seen one of these in a home. You know when you go to the bank, you go through the drive-in and you put your money in that little tube and it sucks it up to the teller? That's essentially this, but for humans. We're gonna wait to test this out because there's still a good amount to look at down here, but we'll keep this shut for now. And then right behind your numeric elevator, this is a little built-in wet bar. We have all the refrigerator freezer drawers so you can have refreshments for all your guests just when you're going around your house and you want a drink, it's right there. So from the media room, we're gonna make our way around the house. We'll stop in here really quick. This is a beautiful powder room. Just look behind me. These are views to the south. You have downtown Miami way off in the distance, the blues of the ocean, beautiful floating vanity. So leaving this powder room, this is very, very cool. This is your home movie theater with the push of a button, drapes closed. You know, if you want the views, you can have the views, or if you want to be totally immersed in your home theater experience, shut those drapes. You have the raised platform. We don't have any couches in here yet, but you do have that stadium seating with your projector all the custom millwork behind here. And even this, these are custom leather panels that are soundproof. So you could have, you know, your typical soundproofing, but they chose leather just keeping with that nice elevated feeling. Those details are at the whole place. But from your home theater, again, we have another powder room here off to the side. So you have dual powder rooms on either side of your home theater. And then this, this is your home bar entertainment area. This is a fully customized Onyx bar. At nighttime, this thing is lit up so beautifully. Behind the bar, we have quartz on the countertop, built-in ice machine, and then right at the very end, I love these drawer, refrigerator, freezer combo. And even here on the bar, you'll notice the handles are wrapped in that custom Italian leather. This itself is a statement piece, your wine storage. And like I mentioned, this breaks up the lounge. From then on the other side, we're now back into the great room, and we're gonna head upstairs up this beautiful floating limestone staircase. Have the glass railing, floating glass railing, making our way up to your second floor, which is the living quarters in this Miami penthouse. Really from up here, you see the views of the ocean. As far as the eye can see, you have the blues. You have a nice view of your light fixture. Say you are entertained, you can look down at your great room. And from up here, you can really see the volume that it creates in the space, having those double height 20 foot ceilings. But making your way down the catwalk, on the walls, we have Venetian plaster with all that overhead lighting really illuminating that plaster. And then in front of me, this is your junior primary suite which as you can see, a beautiful corner suite with those views right in front waking up, you're facing east, your sun rises. Off to this side here, you have your views to the south. So you're looking down beach, off in the distance, you can see downtown Miami. And again, you have a wet bar. Throughout the whole space, you have just ample amounts of wet bars with those built-in drawer refrigerator freezer combos. So if you ever want that midnight snack or drink, it's right there. Full length mirror here, so you can check out your outfit when you're getting ready for the day. If we make our way further on in, 
This is your junior primary bathroom with this awesome trough sink. The drain again is hidden by this piece of limestone here. Opposite your vanity, we have your steam shower. We're actually gonna walk in here. Looking above, you have your rainfall shower, you have your wall-mounted shower head, and of course you have the handheld shower to get all those bits and pieces. But let's head out of here really quickly. Just gonna walk into the closet. So you can see there's a decent amount of storage space in here. All custom millwork again. And then on the walls we have that grass woven fabric just to break up all the textures. But leaving the junior primary, we're gonna make our way out back through the great room. You can really see the perspective of this catwalk here. Off to the left, this is your second level gallery hallway connecting the opposite end of the space. Then if we continue down, we are now entering the primary suite here at the Regalia Penthouse. And this space, actually let's just cut across here so you can see this. So here you have again your views to the east when you wake up sunrise. Behind me now we're looking to the north. Up there you have Boca, Fort Lauderdale, and you can see off in the distance all those skyscrapers. And like I mentioned, that view, this is forever. All those buildings down there, all those homes, you can't build higher than two stories, so that view is forever. Then we're gonna make our way to the intro of the video, the thing that you first saw when you clicked on this video. And behind me, this is your primary bathroom that runs the entire length of this suite, and there's a lot to break down. So off to the left here, this is your water closet. So here you have the frosted glass for the water closet. Storage off to the right. You have your towel warmer built right into this marble. And then continuing down, this is actually very unique. This is an infinity jacuzzi. So you know when you get in a jacuzzi and you wanna go down to your shoulders but the water overflows? Here, you have this lip so the water can just spill out. You can fill this sucker up all the way to the top. Continuing down, this is actually the first of the primary suite closets. Just walk in here so you can get a perspective of the size. Very, very decent sized closet. This is all automated for your hangers. Making our way back out. Opposite the closet, this is the first steam shower. You have your vanity. This could essentially be, you know, we're getting ready in the morning. Again, everything is hidden, the drain, all of it. Again, I don't have to go over everything. It's the same throughout the whole space. Further down, you have your built-in shelving into that Calcutta marble. Right in front, you have the makeup area with the full-length mirror. And then on the back side, it's essentially the mirror image. So you have steam shower on this side, the secondary closet, the secondary water closet, secondary vanity, and now at the very end here, this is, I mentioned there's a spa in the regalia. This is your own private spa in your penthouse. So we have your sauna right here. And even in the sauna, you can just see it's all illuminated with the LED lights built into this wood. And then on the reverse side, it would be complete without your steam room made out of Calcutta gold marble with those built-in LED lights underneath. Yeah, this is luxury. I have never seen a steam room or a sauna spa area like this in any place I've ever toured. And then you have space right in the center here where you could have your massage table, all that good stuff. But also I wanna note that the terrace wraps around this entire space. You saw from those intro drone shots, this is indoor outdoor living. So this wraps around the backside you actually have another sink right here as you're leaving the primary bathroom. And this is just, I guess, just in case you want an extra sink, it's there. And then leaving again, you can then door this all off, keep your privacy. And now we're back into that hallway, which is mirrored on that lower level. Off to the right, the first of the guest bedrooms. And I didn't point this out yet, but if you look down at the floors, we now have transitioned to that white oak, giving it a very beachy feeling. You have your access to the outdoor space. And then all of the guest bedrooms have that ensuite bathroom. And making our way out of this guest bedroom, we are back into the connecting corridor. Off to the left, we have our gallery hallway, which connects us to the front of the space. Off to the left, we have yet again another one of the guest bedrooms. And this one, this would be the size of most junior primary suites. You can just see it is an oversized bedroom here. Views to the south, downtown Miami. We have this awesome custom millwork here with your built-in media center with the TV hidden into the wood. And then on the other side here, we have your ensuite bathroom, floor to ceiling marble, steam shower. We're gonna make our way out of this guest bedroom. 
and I wanna show you this. So right off of this bedroom, this is actually really unique. This is a media area slash lounge. There's a lot going on in here. You have the wet bar with your sink, but you also have your built-in dishwasher. So you could properly essentially live up here and never have to go downstairs to the kitchen. The beauty of all this is this pockets in from the wall and you can close off this wet bar just so it's hidden away nice and neat. Again, TV in the center and you have the Miele suite of appliances, the cappuccino maker below, the refrigerator drawer. Again, the handle's wrapped in that Italian leather. All right here, I, I love this room. This is a very cozy feeling to this room. And of course, the moment everyone's been waiting for, we are finally gonna take a ride in the pneumatic elevator. You can hear it, listen. So this is all powered by air suction. That's it. There is no elevator weight, no dumb waiter, no cords. It is all cordless. It's essentially like any elevator. You have your call button, and then you have floors one, two, and three. We're going all the way up to the third floor. I'll see you up there. How cool is that? So we're now at the top floor, we're in the shades because we are in Florida and it's pretty sunny out there. But out through the sliding glass door, we have your rooftop oasis with your in-ground swimming pool, open air. You even have an awning here just if you wanted the shade from the sunlight. Right in front of the pool, we also have an outdoor stainless steel shower just to rinse off all that chlorine after your dip. Built in grill right here. So you have your outdoor kitchen. Then the best part of all this, the wraparound terrace. We are now at the very, very top floor of the regalia. And let's just actually do a, one long takeout to show you this. This is as high as it gets. This is the pinnacle of the regalia, your wraparound terrace. Behind me, we have downtown Miami, off to the east, the blues of the Atlantic Ocean. I've shown you this whole penthouse, but we're gonna sit down with Jeff now, who has been selling luxury real estate in Miami for the last 18 years, and he's gonna give us the lowdown on this building, the market, and some tips for new agents. For letting us tour your incredible listing you. at the Thank penthouse you. at the regalia what is the thing that separates this listing from any other listing in the area if you had to pick you know one or two things what would it be yeah that's a fantastic question you know my top favorites are the privacy that you get here from the 360 degree views it's the only building in the area where you literally you can walk around the property in your birthday suit and no one's seeing you I know you can't say names, but who's buying these types of penthouses? What industries are they in? Right, so celebrities, CEOs, billionaires, a lot of young um, new guys that came into market, a lot of uh, crypto billionaires as well. We were chatting earlier and your career has been very interesting. How did you get into selling high-end real estate? You know, I, I, would, I would be lying if I said I planned this out 20 years ago, um, you know, I basically was the first one in the office every day and the last one to leave at whatever job that I was doing. The hardest worker, very personable. Um, and then 20 years later, I basically, I'm standing here today with you, um, successful in real estate, right? So what, what's the one magic potion? You know, I think stream hard work, dedication, passion to your craft, um, and then you just have to own whatever you, whatever you do. Yeah. Work hard outwork everyone else and just strive to be better than everyone else. And that's awesome because you can apply that to anything, anything Correct. you do in life. Correct. Real estate, Jeff's actually quite the chef. A little secret trade of mine, uh, 25 plus years ago, I'm showing my age, I went to uh, the CIA in Hyde Park, New York, and I, I studied as, uh, you know, to become a professional culinary chef. Very cool. Let's pivot a bit, COVID. Everything's been crazy. What has the market been doing here in Miami with COVID over the past, let's say, 18 months? Right, so COVID certainly was a huge accelerator for our market. Um, we saw lots of buyers coming from New York, the Northeast, the tri-state area, 
Boston, Chicago, California, basically a lot of the New York Wall Street money, California tech money, all kind of just landed in Miami at the same time, seeking warm weather, beautiful beaches, tax shelter, nothing, it's, it's like nothing else that you know, this neighborhood offers. They first built this building they wanted, their, their goal was to offer a residential, single family home type environment in a high rise building. All the information is down below in the description or if you're in Miami and you're looking for one of the best brokers in the area, Thank you. Jeff's contact information is down there as well. I hope you're well watching this and with that, we will see you in the next episode.